Hi, I'm Chris Thompson for Investor Intel. And today I'm speaking with Tracy from Investor Intel about the metaverse and the meta world. And we want to learn more about what Investor Intel is doing in this new reality. Yeah, th thanks for asking. I mean, we're, we're, we can't sleep anymore. <laughs> we were introduced to the metaverse. Everyone's like, you got to get into the metaverse. And um, we did an exploration and we thought, what the heck? We'll create an Investor Intel online office. But that just led to a whole bunch of other things, including, you know, a new investor meta world. So, Tracy, what is Investor Meta World? I'll tell you, it's going to be a source for anybody in 3D or you take your avatar through Facebook Horizons Worlds community currently has about 1400 doorways. It's my understanding. OK, go ahead. Everyone's going to correct me if I'm wrong. They love it. Correcting me. Um, and uh, we're a doorway you can go into and you can come join us in our office and um, and see all the stocks that we're following uh, as we do interviews. We have a virtual studio. Interesting. Now, do people still have to wear the headsets in, in the metaverse now in the meta world? Well, I mean, you know, meta, of course, is what Facebook is going to be calling their metaverse. Mm -hmm. And um, we're still unclear as to the patents. It's, 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 or, or not the patents, excuse me, the trademarks. We're very, very interested in how this is all kind of evolving. Um, but no, what's going to be interesting, what's so exciting, the reason why all the analysts are looking at this new, what they're calling the new web 3.0, is that basically, Zuckerberg and the Facebook team are going to, to be launching Meta where you can go into your PC or download something into your endless handhelds and then interact in these uh, uh, 3D or these immersive worlds. So this will be a new world for companies to find investors uh, for, their, for their companies. Is that how it works? Well, I mean, that's how, that's how people like like you and I are thinking it might work, but it's not working that way yet. Uh, and of course, everyone's debating who's going to make money, how they're going to make money and the different ways they're going to be able to justify <laughs> investing money in, money into creating these worlds. Um, to me and our company's opinion, you want to be a part of it so that you drive people to your website so you learn more about your company. So it's an educational tool. It's a way to bring people to and widen your investment audience. It's very, it's very exciting. Now, I, I did see you also did a booth uh, for the upcoming uh, PDAC convention. Um, will you be having some uh, guest avatars for companies uh, at your booth uh, for the PDAC in the virtual world? Well, what, what we did was we shot a commercial of what it looks like when we're in there, when we're all at our desks and uh, the director opened the door and we had, I don't know, a hundred, it seemed like a hundred avatars. I was too busy trying to figure out how to use my, my handhelds. I'm jumping in the air. <laughs> uh, everyone's dressed differently. People are messing up each other's hairs. It was hair. It was very interactive. I was very surprised by it. Yeah. Um, so I miss some of the in between, but no, at PDAC, we are planning on launching our involvement with Shaxon VR, and we are planning on targeting the capital markets and specifically building that niche through investor meta world. And thank you, Chris, for asking me about it, asking me about all of this. We're very excited. Well, that sounds great. I look forward to, uh, you know, working with you. Maybe we'll get some, uh, some real research uh, on companies in the VR space as well that people can actually look at and, and read. So that'll be an interesting uh, add-on. Uh, and I think that, the, as you say, that the, uh, the real world and the meta world are going to sort of become uh, a blur uh, for most people. Any well, final well, thoughts? Yeah, here's my final thought. For everybody out there watching this interview right now, expect to see me and Chris in our next interview as avatars. I look forward to that.